Hi everybody, welcome to Edutab and also welcome to another lecture on uh, the ARD Simplified series which is going on for the Nabat Grade exam and the topic that we have picked up is classification of fishes. So basically this topic has been picked from the chapter fisheries of your ARD syllabus and why have we chosen this specific topic? Because if you look at previous year questions, uh, here the questions have been asked from it. Okay? So where's the classification of fishes can be uh, based on three uh, categories one based on the habitat where they live or the way they prefer second being about their feeding habit and third one being about the migration means they move from certain water bodies to another uh, for a living purpose for breeding purpose can be other reasons we will discuss right but on that basis we have classification so basically from this topic the third one based on the migration say he we have seen questions but because we have picked up the topic so we will like briefly discuss the other two classification also for general understanding Understanding. Okay, a question examine which of the following fishes live in fresh water but breed in salt water. So basically, description was given and you had to identify the terminology, right? Another way, what can be asked that they might ask you directly ask you the terminology and then you have to give the examples. Okay, so you questions. Puche ja sakte hai. Ab is mein, same we will uh, look at based on habitat, like what is the classification on feeding habit and on migration. Starting off uh, with the first one, like uh, what are the different classification we have? First, as I said based on habitat where they live what so, uh, what type of water environment do they prefer then based on what food they eat are they uh, are they dependent on the plants that are there in water that is the herbivores then uh, or are they uh, like uh, omnivores they eat both uh, other organisms as well as plants so they are carnivores they dependent on other animals that are present in water okay and based on the migration like where do they move uh, for the breeding habit, usually breeding habits ke liye hota hai uh, So we will discuss these three starting off with the based on habitat. Take it to habitat what sort of water they prefer. So see broadly we have three type of waters. One are the fresh water bodies and this category is based on how much salt concentration is there in water. Okay. So we consider any water body a fresh water if the salinity it is below 1.05%. In some books you might find ppm parts per million both means the same thing. Okay. 1.05% uh, say below salinity. Okay. Then there is another category marine water or yeah, sea water we bol sakte ho, ocean mein present hota hai. there we know a lot of salt concentration is there. So marine water bodies are such water bodies where salinity is above 30%. Okay. So these are two extreme ranges below 1.05% that is a fresh water body and then we have above 30% that is a marine water body right now in between whatever range is there like for example if range is 2% or maybe uh, like if it is for example 24% right so these ranges for for such water bodies which have salt concentration between the 1.05 extremity that we have observed in fresh water and 30 percent that is there for marine water in between whatever such water body exists we call it fresh brackish water okay so fresh water may salinity is below 1.05 percent marine may above 30 percent and in between whatever be the percentage of salt salt concentration in the water such water bodies are known as brackish water okay so there are some fishes just like carp or ticket trout or these are the fishes uh, that prefer fresh water so these are fresh water fishes then we have brackish water fishes then we have marine water fishes okay so uh, this is category okay of fresh water maybe you have two type one is uh, cold water uh, and one is warm water and before that i want to uh, say uh, say one thing about these uh, three categories that your fresh water and your marine water basically these are the extreme form right it means below 1.05 and uh, above 30 percent these uh, type of uh, uh, fishes are known as stenohaline. What does it mean? Stenohaline means what? That these are very particular about the salt concentration. And if this uh, salt concentration, it varies, they will not be able to survive. What does it mean? It means, for example, uh, we take case of tuna in case of marine fishes. Okay? There, if it, for example, it's 30, about 30% 30 that is required. If tuna is kept in water body where 15% or maybe 16% of salt concentration is there, it will not be able to survive. Why? Because it is stenohaline it's very particular about the salt concentration similarly fresh water may if for example car fell if you have kept that in 11 percent of salinity it will die right that is why i'm saying that like, uh, these things are important to know because that would help you to understand like then how to culture them right 
then you would be very particular about the salinity maybe if you want to uh, go for like culture marine fishes then you would create that environment right so that is why knowing these things are important okay so your both fresh water and marine water they are stenohaline because they are very particular about the salt concentration that they require brackish water ki baat karenge inko urihaline bolte hain urihaline are such fishes that can you know that can adapt to the range of temperature and which is understandable also why because brackish water in itself it is a wide range right so definitely the fishes that exist in these water bodies they should also be adaptable to this wide range because then how will they able to survive right so that is why brackish water ki jo fishes hote hai, those are urihaline because they can adapt to a wider range of uh, salt uh, concentration in the water theek hai jabki fresh water and marine water they are stenohaline theek hai ab jo fresh water it can further be divided into cold water and warm water so basically cold water means some fishes they prefer temperature between 15 degree to 24 degree uh, while warm water they uh, 27 degree to 32 degree celsius they prefer such temperature and that is why like they are uh, cold water warm water marine be pelagic demersal deep sea deep sea to ekdam at the very you know uh, at the bottom of the sea level waha pe deep fishes milti hain theek hai then you have demersal these demersal fishes uh, and pelagic fishes like pelagic are the ones these are uh, present at the surface of the water uh, oceanic water not near the shore but yes like in the if you go inside uh, if you go far inside the sea uh, or you know far off the land uh, to uh, the center of the sea then these fishes are present theek hai they they prefer like they are in the photic zone photic means their sunlight is proper ठीक है देन वी हैव डिमर्सल ठीक है डिमर्सल क्या होती है थोड़ी अंदर होती है ठीक है अराउंड आपको 200 मीटर के अंदर के रेंज में प्रेजेंट होती है सो देयर इज अ लिटिल बिट लाइट इट कम्स बट नॉट दैट मच ठीक है तो इट काइंड ऑफ इन बिटवीन यू कैन से पिलाजिक एंड डीप सी हाउएवर डीप सी आर लाइक इन वेरी डेप्थ ठीक है तो दीस वर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बेस्ड ऑन लाइक देयर फीडिंग हैबिट्स वी हैव प्लांकटन फीडर मींस सिल्वर कार्प एंड कटला दे प्रेफर प्लांकटन्स व्हाट आर प्लांकटन देखो प्लांकटन्स आर वेरी स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे कैन बी plants also means phytoplankton why we are saying them plants because uh, they can uh, do photosynthesis so they can prepare their own food basically theek okay? hai so plankton can be of two type but in both the cases they are very small organism they can be phytoplankton also uh, which are basically the organism which can make their own food theek okay? hai uh, or they can be zooplankton zooplankton are such organisms which are which are like animals you can say in inside the water theek okay? hai so jaise silver carp it is it eats it's a phytoplankton feeder theek okay? hai so, katla aapki zooplankton hai but in both the cases wo plankton feed karte hain herbivores mein we have grass carp milk fish omnivores mein we have common carp pearl spot fish carnivores mein the these are the one that feed on other organisms these are snake head zebra sea have kuch categories hai theek hai ab ye bahut most important part aapka aa gaya hai based on the migration theek hai isme simply uh, if you look at how can the question be asked aapko simple yaad rakhna ki how is that transfer going on like why migration it happens theek hai to fishes can be of to uh, on the based on migration some are non migratory fishes some are migratory so we don't have to टेक केयर ऑफ द नॉन माइग्रेटिव वाला पार्ट इन माइग्रेटरी वी हैव फोर मेजर टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट यू शुड नो पोटाड्रोमस पोटामोड्रोमस एनाड्रोमस कैटाड्रोमस एंड एम्फीड्रोमस ठीक है अब पोटामोड्रोमस क्या होता है दीज आर द फिशेज विच मूव फ्रॉम फ्रेश वाटर टू फ्रेश वाटर ओनली जैसे इन फिश इन वेन वी वर लुकिंग एट फ्रेश वाटर वी सॉ दैट सम बिलोंग्स टू कोल्ड वाटर सम बिलोंग्स टू वॉम वाटर राइट सो सम फिश इज वॉट हैपन्स वेन दे हैव टू ले एग्स दे मूव फ्रॉम फ्रेश वाटर टू कोल्ड वाटर टू ले एग्स राइट वाई because see in fresh water what happens in warm water a lot of competition is there a lot of predatory fishes are also there and they want to like conserve their fish uh, their eggs right so that is when they move from warm water to uh, to the cold water area theek hai jaise aapka most common example aapka brown trout ho gaya theek hai so what are potamodromous fishes potamodromous fishes are those fishes which move from fresh water to fresh water only uh, for uh, for laying eggs example brown trout theek hai and i have already told you jo fresh water to fresh water kaise aapka warm se aapke cold mein aati hai theek hai second hai anadromous anadromous are those fishes which grow in sea water please look at the arrow theek hai arrow suggest what from they are moving from where to where theek hai isme aapko both side mein aana chahiye 
ठीक है आई विल अपडेट इट इन द पीपीटी व्हेन यू विल गेट ठीक है तो यहाँ पे अगर बात करें पहले एनाड्रोमस की एनाड्रोमस कौन सी होती है दीज आर द फिशेस विच विच सर्वाइव देयर जुबेनाइल टाइम पीरियड मींस विच दे आर स्टिल ग्रोइंग देयर आउट ऑफ एग्स दे आर एट द यंग स्टेज एंड देन दे आर ग्रोइंग देन दे लिव इन द सी वॉटर बट वेन इट इज टाइम टू ले एग्स वॉट दे डू दे कम टू द फ्रेश वॉटर ठीक है सो दीज आर नोन एज वॉट एनाड्रोमस फिशेज सो द फिशेज दैट मूव फ्रॉम सी वॉटर टू फ्रेश वॉटर फॉर लेइंग ऑफ एग्स दोज आर नोन एज एनाड्रोमस फिशेज ठीक है नेक्स्ट वी हैव वॉट कैटरोमस फिशेज कैटरोमस आपके क्या होती है दीज आर द फ्रेश वॉटर फिशेज विच मूव टू सी वॉटर टू ले एग्स अब देखो ये कैसा चलता है लेट मी टेल यू ठीक है क्या होता है जैसी सी वॉटर फिशेज होती है ठीक है दे कम टू फ्रेश वॉटर दे वुड ले एग्स ठीक है दे वुड डाई Similarly, it happens in Cateromus. The fishes that because they prefer fresh water, they move to sea water and then they would die. इसके बाद जब ये एग्स निकलते हैं तो दे मेच्योर दे ग्रो एंड दे मूव टूवर्ड्स जैसे मान लो एनाड्रोमस का केस है ठीक है सो वॉट हैपन इन फ्रेश वॉटर फिशेज वर लिविंग ठीक है वॉट दे वुड डू वेन दे वुड कम आउट ऑफ एग्स दे वुड मूव टूवर्ड द फ्रेश वॉटर दे वुड ले एग्स एंड दे वुड डाई वेन द एग्स वुड कम आउट दे वुड दे वुड मूव टूवर्ड सी वॉटर टू ग्रो ओके एंड देन कम बैक फॉर द फॉर वॉट वेन इट इट इज टाइम फॉर ब्रीडिंग ठीक है तो अगर कंफ्यूजन हो रहा है तो लेट जस्ट स्किप दिस पार्ट ठीक है बिकॉज इन एन एग्जामिनेशन देर नॉट आस्किंग यू डिटेल वॉट आर दिस थिंग्स ठीक है इफ यू आर गेटिंग कंफ्यूज अदरवाइज स्कीप इट सिंपल एनाड्रोमस आर दोज फिशेज विच मूव फ्रॉम फ्रेश वॉटर टू सी वॉटर टू फ्रेश वॉटर फॉर लेइंग एग्स कैटाड्रोमस आर द फिशेज विच मूव फ्रॉम फ्रेश वॉटर टू सी वॉटर टू ले एग्स ठीक है एंड एंड देन वी हैव एम्फीड्रोमस एम्फी मीन्स बोथ ठीक है तो एमफी मीन्स बोथ का क्या मतलब है कि दैट दे कीप ऑन स्विचिंग लाइक फ्रेश वॉटर से सी वॉटर से फ्रेश वॉटर आते हैं एंड देन दे अगेन मूव टू द फ्रॉम फ्रेश वॉटर टू सी वॉटर ठीक है तो दिस इज नोन एज वॉट दिस इज नोन एज योर बेस्ड ऑन माइग्रेशन पहले के केस में देखो जैसे वॉट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एमफी एमफी मीन्स बोथ सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस वन एंड द अदर टू केसेज वी हैव सीन द फिशेज विच विल मूव फ्रॉम सी वॉटर टू फ्रेश वॉटर दे वुड ले एक्स एंड देन दे वुड डाई ठीक है वाई दे वुड डाई बिकॉज वी हैव ऑल्सो अंडरस्टूड दैट देर इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फिशेज बेस्ड ऑन द हैबिट एट दे प्रेफर we know that sea water fishes they require certain salinity if they don't get it they will die similar thing happen in anadromus fresh water fishes they come uh, the sea water fishes they come to fresh water fish uh, fresh water they lay eggs and then they are not they are not able to survive when they die theek okay? hai similarly cateromus mein kya hota hai they are fresh water fishes and we know for them below 1.05% uh, temperature uh, salt salinity is required theek okay? hai so when they move to sea water to lay eggs they don't get that uh, particular salinity percentage so they die theek okay? hai but amphi means both so it means what these are those fishes like for example goby we have big mouth sleeper mountain mullet these are the ones which can actually they can survive to both both sort of temperature uh, both sort of salt salinity salinity so they they come to fresh water they lay eggs and then they go back theek hai to ye ye hai aapka amphiromus theek hai so again we have potadromus fresh water to fresh water example trout then we have anadromus sea water to fresh water that is hilsa example catadromus mein we have uh, fresh water to sea water that is eel and then we have amphidromus sea water to fresh water that is goby right so these are the cases now you have to like uh, questions over there try to attempt them okay first one is which of the following fishes lives in fresh water but breeds in salt water and second which of the following is a potadromus fish try to answer that in the comment section and let's see if you could have been able to answer previous uh, those questions in the exam if you have attempted that particular year's paper so that is all in this video i hope you liked it for more such videos kindly subscribe subscribe to youtube channel and you can also join our telegram channel to get the pdf of this and every lecture that we provide here on youtube thank you everybody for watching and i wish you all the very best for exams